my drug of choice was heroin. I was doing like $150 a day. I was homeless five years. I've been incarcerated multiple times, in and out, in and out, uh, of, of Cook County. Then that's when I heard about the mom's program because I was pregnant and I wanted my baby to come here clean. I didn't want my baby to be taken away from me. Haymarket started in 1975 as a detox unit and it now has grown to over 40 programs, different programs for men and women and children, including an on-site daycare, an on-site medical clinic. We have a 16-bed unit at the agency in Haymarket Center for women as an alternative to sentencing. So the women can come to this unit, be pregnant, and it's a locked unit, so it's secure. They have a monitoring device on their ankle, um, and they get the, the substance abuse education and the groups that they need. They go to self-help groups on the unit, and when they deliver their child, they get to stay with their child and bond with their child. The outcomes of child welfare and incarceration are not good outcomes. Most mothers who are locked up because of untreated addiction recidivate. Most children who are put into the child welfare system are put into a very broken system and they become more vulnerable to involvement in the JJ system, the juvenile justice system, and also become more vulnerable to substance abuse themselves. And we have a very high rate of sexual abuse in foster care homes as well. I'm proud of myself because I thought I couldn't do it and by me coming to this treatment place it's a wonderful thing for me the first time I ever been in treatment and I know I can do it and I know I can make it. They're in need of life skills, they're in need of parenting skills if they're a parent, um, you know they're, they're in need of financial information, um, applying for jobs. I mean, there's just a host of other things. It's just about living life on life's terms, to use recovery words, um, and, and how to succeed in the real world without the use of drugs. You do have programs in the U.S. that are called family-based treatment programs. And what it means is that a mother can go into treatment with her children. The cost of that type of program is about 14000 a year for the family. The outcomes are that 62% of the mothers who go into these treatment programs stay clean and sober, very low recidivism rates, and very high family reunification and family stability. All of our children and mothers need that bonding process in order to be healthy and thrive. Families at the margins deserve no less. And these mothers who are not violent criminals, who are first time Nonviolent offenders deserve that opportunity to simply be able to mother their children. But well, this place here gives me um, hope that I can be a productive woman in society as far as just taking care of my children like I'm supposed to. Taking care of my baby is a beautiful thing to me today.